In this video, I'm going to be breaking down why you might want to consider jumping back into the nickel over. Now, if you're watching this video, my my nickel over defensive ebook is live on my Patreon. If you're not a Patreon member yet, make sure to sign up for that. It's only ten dollars, and it gets you access to everything: all of my ebooks, all of my tips, everything. Offensive, defensive ebooks, all updates to all ebooks for just ten bucks. If you want to sign up for that, the link is in the description. All right, guys, nickel over. Why is this defense good? It's good for a couple of reasons. Number one, man coverage with KO abilities is really, really good. And um, it, it, it's actually, the, the thing is, the game's about KOs no matter what, but there's really two primary coverages that I want to show you today that are going to make your blitz incredible and going to give you really good coverage. All right, so how are we going to set this up? What we're going to do is we're going to go into auto flip. We're going to turn this off. What this is going to do is it's going to allow us to have more control over where players go. That is super important. We're also going to put our zone coverage to match, and we've got two primary plays we're going to be going over. The first one is going to be the cover three or the LB blitz one. And then the second one that we're going to be going over here is the cover three seam. So we have LB Blitz one, cover three seam. You could run rock cover three sky as well. All right. So uh, you're going to go ahead and come out in the LB Blitz one. Actually, you can come out in cover three seam too. Either way, it, it is what it is. Okay. If you want to play man, come out in cover three. If you want to play zone, come out in. in um, and if you want to play man, come out and cover one LB Blitz. If you want to play zone, cover three. Now, you'll notice something really important. This guy is the safety down here. Now, I'm going to flip my play, and I want you to watch where John Lynch goes. So I'm going to come out. I'm actually going to flip the bunch. So what should happen is the defense should auto flip. But because we have the defense on uh, auto flip off, watch what happens. John Lynch travels with the tight end. What this does is gives us a really good alignment against this. So if we blitz, all we're going to do is pinch our defense, blitz our linebackers. We're going to stand about right here. And you're going to see you're going to get incredible pressure. You're going to get super fast pressure, disengage pressure, everything you need. Really good pressure. Okay, and you can actually go ahead if you want to, and you can actually QB contain this. This is actually not a bad idea. Uh, QB containing out of this makes this blitz go insane. Okay, uh, now let's come out and cover three seam. I want to show you what cover three seam does from an alignment perspective as well. And we're going to talk about the pressure and playing pressure versus coverage. All right, so we're going to come out in that cover three seam, and we're going to pinch our defense. And what you're going to notice is one little thing. The slot corner is on the wrong side. Now, the way you fix that is by doing what? Man alignment. So back to the coaching adjustments for just a second. What you're going to do is you're going to put your auto alignment to man align. That way there's not going to be any difference between your zone and your man look pre-snap. There's no difference between your zone look and your man look pre-snap. So then pinch your defense. Now look to the right. You see here everything looks proper. So if I go to set up a pressure and I shade my coverage underneath, now what I can do is I can take that slot corner, drop him into a hard flat, and then drop John Lynch into the third. What this allows me to do defensively is now I know all I have to do is worry about the left side flat in the middle of the field. As you can see here, incredible pressure, disengage pressure, bada bing, bada boom, and you're off. Now, what if I want to set up a maximum coverage defense from this? You actually can do that relatively easily. All you're going to do is you're going to hard flat the left side linebacker. You're going to middle third, that right side linebacker, and then you're going to vertical hook your slot corner. So now you see here, we're in a basic kind of max coverage frame, and now they're blocking people or whatever, and now you have a max coverage defense that is devoted to stopping you know, some of their concepts. Now you can do this all over the place with this formation. If you wanted to like put your safeties at, at you know, nickelback or whatever, you could do some interesting things as well. But it all starts with this, this pre-snap look that you can send pressure. Now, if I want to play, if I want to send a zone blitz, guess what I could do? I could go with a three deep zone blitz with a hard flat to that side. And then the beauty of this is now all I have to do, same basic thing, running back to the flat, I go to the flat, and then I can lurk back to the middle of the field. So the beauty of this is not only combining an incredible, incredible pressure, but you can actually create really unique coverage concepts from Mandeline this year, um, in my opinion. And the beauty of this is just the ultimate disguise. They don't know if you're sending the crib 
or if you're sending nobody, okay? And really what I like to tell people is you want to crash your line down. I do think it's going to make the blitz better. Um, the reason why I think it's going to make the blitz better, especially what I would actually do is blitz my linebackers, crash my line down, and QB contain. The reason why I would do those things is I just think it makes the blitz just a little bit better. So if they do block the running back now, these contains just go and they just go nuts. It's super hard to pick up contains this year. Um, so you can kind of mess around with the, the pressure uh, piece of this. But when you just combine the basics of this coverage defense, I think you're going to have a lot of success. And the beauty of this is, again, you know, it, the fact that I'm just sitting here, because if you think about it, most people are going to block the running back. So is there really a purpose to defending the flat on the left side? Another thing that you can actually do that I think is really interesting is we can create kind of a hybrid coverage here with this with cross man. So we could do something, you know, like this and go ahead and have, you know, our middle linebackers cross man on these outside players. Now, if they're running deep down the field, they're going to appear open and then it's going to get taken away by my player right there, as you can see. So there's so much you can do from this coverage. There's so much that you can do. And the beauty of this is if I want to play man, all I have to do is I go to LB Blitz. And you see, by and large, looks for the most part the same, as you can see right here. And then, you know, you're in pressure and, you know, you're getting a sack. So love this defense. This is something that I really want you to consider. If you want to learn more about Nickel Over, make sure you check out the Patreon. Link is down in the description. 10 bucks gets you access to everything in the Patreon, all ebooks and all updates. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.